Thanks to WordPress 6.5 update, now we have the ability to add a drop shadow effect to some Gutenberg blocks element. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add this effect to your website without any CSS code, without any patch builder, and definitely without any plugin. So let's get into it. Alright, before we start, you need to make sure that you're running WordPress 6.5 or higher. If you're not sure, you can go to your WordPress dashboard and then click updates and see if there is any new update available. And only after that, we can start adding a drop shadow effect to some Gutenberg blocks. So let's get into it. All right, now I'm in the Gutenberg editor. I have this product box that I have created from my previous video. So there are only three Gutenberg blocks that you can add a drop shadow effect. Those three blocks are columns, images, and buttons. At least at the moment, I think WordPress will add more blocks in the future, but Right now, we can only deal with three Gutenberg blocks. So let me show you how to add a drop shadow effect to this image. I'm going to click on this image and then go to styles. And you will see that even though there is an option to change the shadow, you don't see any setting related to that feature. And WordPress has the habit of hiding some new features. In order to see the drop shadow effect, you have to click on this menu and then enable shadow. And only after that, you can click on this drop shadow menu. There are five new presets available. You can click on any of them to apply the effect immediately. The same process can also be done to the button block. So I can click on the button block and then go to styles, scroll down and enable shadow. And I can apply some preset to this Gutenberg block. Yeah, I think this is perfect. All right, that's basically it. There is only five presets available you can play around. And unfortunately, there is no option to change the angle, the blur strength, the shadow color, and any other setting that usually exists on other page builders. But I think it is still better than nothing. At least at the moment, WordPress is quite conservative at releasing updates, but I wouldn't be surprised that in the future, we will have more option to change the shadow presets. Regardless of that limitation, I'm still quite happy that I can add shadow to image and buttons, which are usually the two elements that need attention the most. For example, if you can add shadow to your button, it will make it more stand out and attractive. You can also add a picture to a button, but that's going to be a bit too long for this video. So if you want to learn more about how to add an image to a button, check out this video and I'll see you there.